Sydney Sweeney is heading to an Italian convent, and it seems the Lord likes her assets. As time goes on, dark secrets begin to unveil themselves, but Sweeney's having none of it. Figures in the dark, whispers in hallways, and one holy baby shower in Immaculate. Hello there, you loose units, and welcome back to another episode of Spicy Boy Reviews. I'm, of course, your host, Andrew Isles. That's right, Immaculate, directed by Michael Mohan, who's known for directing a film One Too Many Mornings, Save the Date, and The Voyeurs, also starring Sydney Sweeney. We meet young nun Cecilia, played by Sydney Sweeney. She's off to Italy to work in a convent for elderly dying nuns. She decides to put away the girls and dedicate her life to the Lord. The cover-up decision was due to a traumatic experience when she was a child where she nearly drowned in a frozen lake. She arrives at this convent in Italy and one of the younger nuns is very sceptical of Cecilia. Thinking that Cecilia is trying to find herself, using this convent of elderly dying nuns as some sort of morbid contiki tour. However, Cecilia proves herself by taking her holy vows, swearing to God that she'll keep the puppy sealed up for about, ooh, an hour of the film. SPOILER ALERT! We then get a montage of Cecilia trying to fit in in the Italian convent. She also befriends a young rebellious nun by the name of Gwen, who likes to smoke, curse, and talk about all the dick she had before breaking the habit. <laughs> then it's not long before shit starts to get weird. Cecilia starts seeing figures in the night, dreaming about jump scares, and finding a creepy elderly terminally ill nun in her bedroom at three in the morning, cutting off a lock of her hair, which can only go well. Then one night in exploring the mansion, Cecilia stumbles upon a secret room, where she finds a rusty old Nine Inch Nail on display in a glass cabinet like it was a 1979 spring-loaded rocket pack Boba Fett action figure. Turns out that this rusty nail on display is one of THE nails that was in the crucifixion of Jesus of Nazareth. An old nun takes a liking to Cecilia and lets her hold the nail. And Cecilia passes out with the power of God. Then shit starts to get even weirder and Cecilia starts getting sick in the morning. Feeling really dizzy and ill all the time and it's not long before they discover that she's preggers. It is also revealed that Cecilia has never laid with a man before. They discover this by a really confronting inspection by the clergy. Then all this information is put into a very suspicious looking file that makes Cecilia all kinds of curious. It's not long before everyone in the mansion puts two and two together and realises that Cecilia is holding the coming of Christ 2.0. Too profit, too furious. She gets the royal treatment in the convent and everyone treating her like a rock star. However, you can check in any time you like, but you can never leave. Oddly enough, the creepy shit starts to get amplified. And not only are her visions becoming more and more morbid, but there's also a few deaths around the mansion. And a few old nuns are hiding in dark corners, wearing red Spider-Man sock masks, just to remind Sydney Sweeney of the shit show that was Madam Web. The film is only one hour and a half, so it's not long before we discover what it in fact is actually going on. The film asks a lot of questions, and I will give some credit for it that it doesn't over-explain things. However, I do feel that the film should throw us a bone every once in a while. But it does feel like that there's a longer movie buried in here somewhere, and it was drastically cut for runtime. Yes, we can put a few things together ourselves, but it would have been nice to get more of a backstory on who these red mask wearing nun cultists come from. The film does take its time in certain places, having a lot of build, and it feels like something that A24 would make. But also having a vintage Italian 70s horror thriller vibe to the whole film. Almost like it's a mix of Suspiria and Rosemary's Baby. I won't spoil the ending or the somewhat twisty twist, but I will say like any vintage indie Italian horror film, the ending is going to make your stomach churn. And it's not for the faint of heart. It will honestly be a bit traumatic for some people, not going to lie. And it made me feel a little bit uncomfortable myself. Sydney Sweeney gives a really good performance here. And although I'm not really versed with much of her stuff, she really has a lot of pull with audiences. <laughs> She definitely has a fan base, and that was shown on display in my cinema. The cinema was absolutely packed with early 20-somethings, and yes, that is a demographic for horror films. A lot of that audience had to do with Sydney Sweeney, because before the movie started, I could hear a lot of whispers in the audience of how much they love her. And Sweeney was one of the producers of this film as well. She's obviously hungry for some meatier roles, and if this performance is anything to go by, I'm keen to see what she does next. This movie is more of a thriller than a horror, but it does have a little bit of gore to wet those horror fans' whistles. Most of the gore, however, being face mutilation. 
very Italian horror. Do I recommend it? Yeah, I do. It's not for everyone though. Definitely more of an artsy thriller indie horror film. It does have a slower pace and it's like a story that would have been released back in the 70s. Although it's good and it intrigued me and I didn't mind it, it doesn't have a lot of rewatchability about it. It intrigued me, but as I mentioned, I won't be watching it again. Anyway, guys, that's my cheeky little review of Immaculate. Write down below if you've seen it. What are your thoughts on the film? But more importantly, what is your favourite performance by Sydney Sweeney? And of course, if you've made it this far into the episode, please give me a thumbs up because your love and support keeps me going because I just love movies and I assume you do as well. And of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe icon because I give it an episode weekly. And I'll see you back here next week for the next review. And until then, stay spooky, kids. Mm -hmm.